Hey guys, welcome back to Falcons RC. Uh, this is how far we got the last video on the building of the Learjet 55. And uh, we're gonna see how far we can get it today. Uh, okay guys, uh, let me show you what I did. Uh, I already got the electronics into this MiG-29. As you see it right there, so whenever it stops raining, I'm gonna go out there and we're gonna get the mini fly on it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna talk about that one, you know, on the upcoming video whenever I fly it. Okay guys, so now, Sit tight and enjoy the pictures. Hey guys, you see how far we are now? Uh, this is what I got. Uh, I was just wanted to show you this, so you can see that I have to add a little blocking here just on the edge of this one where I'm going to be gluing the next piece you know so I have a place to glue this against and also I'm going to do this one you know on the video so you can see how easy it is to to mold this thing on shape this is basically I already cut it this is the one that's going to be in this point right here so you see just grab this a piece of round wood put it there and start doing this Very easy to do uh, on bigger scale models, and you know, like, you don't have to be sending a bunch of parts or anything. You can do it square. You see how it's just starting to take shape now. Always try, always, always try to keep this thing straight, you know, like making a perfect T right there. So you have your, your lines that you see that marking in there, so they will always be perfect, you know, line up. Because if you do it like sideways, you're going to bend this thing sideways. And you don't want that, you want this thing to be bent nice and neat. Also apply to other vendors, you know, I mean, you know, you need uh, you need to, to, to mold a piece, there's gonna be like this, bend this piece enough so it's like this. So in that way, whenever you do like this, this is it's actually making pressure over your, you know, this right Okay, I think I have enough right there, as you see right there already, mold. So now, this is going to be glue on this plate right here. As you see right there. It's basically staying it there by itself, as you see it now. Okay guys, so let's glue the rest of them in place. Hey guys, you can see the progress right here. Uh, all this that I put in here is just basically to reinforce this nose because this is where the landing gear is gonna be and it have to be a strong because it's gonna be, you know, receiving a, a lot of heat on it whenever the, the front landing gear touches the ground. Uh, for the moment, it's not going to be a retractable, but hopefully, you know, sometime soon I'm gonna get some retracts to put into this plane. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do all this on the next video. Um, basically, as you can see right here, there is no carbon fiber or wood or nothing in here to reinforce this nose. Uh, it just basically uh, depends on how you put your your foam, as you see right there. And still, I'm holding the point just by the, this point on the nose, as you can see. And it's holding it very strong. And that's the plan to it, to, you know, to, to keep it all foam. So it's going to be very light and still very strong too. Okay, guys, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. So you can watch how we finish this nice jet, the Learjet 55. Okay guys, see you next fly.